Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I'm out in the garden. I came out to check on everything because we had some storms uh, the last couple of days and I knew that most of a lot of my uh, containers were gonna be laying over. But it's 53 degrees outside today, but it feels like it's 40 degrees because it's very windy. So I'm gonna, uh, I fed the chickens, I've given them some water, and now I am going to check and see if there are any eggs. Okay, so there are only five eggs today, and there should be more than that. But there were two in there that were uh, broken and had been eaten. So what I'm doing is I am starting to feed them back their eggshells to increase their uh, calcium intake. And I also uh, had accidentally, I think uh, the people at the store made a mistake when I uh, got my last, not the last feed, but the feed before the one that I have now. And they gave me the... Uh, regular uh feed and so the last time and i just recently got another one uh with the calcium for the layers so i think that that what is probably causing them to be uh low in calcium and that's why they're probably eating the eggs and one of my subscribers uh mentioned that in the comments and thank you so much for mentioning that to me because i just did not think that it would you know, well i knew that it might you know, but I went ahead and I kept that feed instead of taking it back or just going ahead and getting another one. I went ahead and fed them that feed and it's the regular uh, chick feed. So I am back on their, um, the last couple of bags, they have been back on the um, regular uh, chick, the layers. But um, I don't know if it's also having something to do with the fact that I, accidentally dropped that egg because before I dropped that egg, I was not having any problems with them eating their eggs. So uh, I, don't, I think that may have had something to do with it too because I would not have thought that one uh, time, you know, missing out on that calcium. Well, it probably did, I'm sure it did too. But um, we're back on track now. So um, uh, thanks for going ahead and letting me know the person who uh, put that in the comments. Thank you so much for saying something. Bring that to my attention. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and check. I'm gonna find out what is um, turned over. I see some uh, roses right over here that are turned over. So we're gonna go ahead and pick those up. This is a large container, but it was blown over in the wind. Okay, some of my trees got blown over. And it has been raining for two days, but these plants are dry. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and drag out the water hose. And let y'all see how the garlic is going crazy over here. It is really growing. Now the raised beds aren't as dry as those containers. I stuck my finger down deeper in the soil and, and those are dry on the surface, but they're not dry on the knees. So. Be sure not to overwater. You might think that it's dry, but just do your little finger test. And this lots of not a kale is begging to be harvested, looking like this. It is looking so 
those beautiful. I also need to harvest some of this parsley and take it inside and dry it. Look how beautiful this mom is looking after I deadheaded it. It's put on some new color and it is looking gorgeous. These little plants over here looking all laid over. I was trying my best not to pull out that water hole, y'all, because it is too cold to be out here watering. Look like I'm going to have to go ahead and drag it on out. And look how huge this little head of broccoli have gotten after those two days of rain. Y'all, it is a total difference in the rain that comes down from the sky and the water that you put on your plants from your holes. The water you put on your plants from your holes has all kinds of impurities, especially if you're using city water, has all that chlorine and different things like that. And all of those things are or more damaging to your plants. But when it rains, that water is awesome. It will make a huge difference in your plants in just a couple of days. Well, y'all, the camellia has opened up. It has finally started to bloom. And that's a beautiful sight on a cold, windy day. And I planted these radishes a few days ago, and they have already begun to germinate. So I am happy about that. I replanted some that I harvest. I harvest some uh, red arrow and some daikon, but I just planted daikon back over here. So I still got a red arrow uh, label. So I'll go ahead and remove that one. All this is daikon. Then again, those bottoms look different. So those may be red arrow. I'm gonna go ahead and put that red arrow back for the time being, just to be sure. As you can see, this one here has a red stem on it, and this one is just a green stem. So I think all these right here are daikon, and those may be red air. And I want to show you all the landscape staples that I get to put down my fabric. So this is the brand that I get. It has 300, and they're six by one inch. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of harvesting. Give me some of these broccoli, broccolini, or sprouting broccoli. I'm gonna have to bring the water holes over here, y'all. I just almost can't take it no more, this watering. It is so cold out here. I don't believe that temperature uh, is right. I don't think it's no 50 something. I think it's some 40s, cause it is cold. And I know that wind chill makes a big difference. Serious, I just almost can't take no more to try to water. But I need to put some over here. I, I think I even, no, I ain't unplugged the hose. I was gonna say it, I done turned that hose off. This one had to wait till tomorrow, but I still got the hose hooked up. I be unhooking it at night because just in case freeze up. I don't want no frozen water hose. Okay, so this nice little harvest of broccoli. Let me see if there's any more because I want to get all of it. Some of this green onion also. I'm gonna get some of this arugula and some of this lettuce off of this Dollar Tree stack of them today. And I'm just gonna reach in here and grab a bunch of it and cut it off because I don't want my lettuce to start bolting on me or 
barn of seed or all that's about the same thing, but yeah, I need to go ahead and get it and eat it. I'm about to cut my little tag there. Yeah, I have not been harvesting enough of this, so I am just gonna grab a handful of it and cut, and then it will come back. That's called cut and come again for anyone who does not know. Get some of this from right here. I don't know if y'all can see me. Can you see me? Get some of this right here. I think this is. Let's see. That's some dip lettuce. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this plant almost bare, but I need to get it and eat it because I don't want to come out here one day and, and harvest it and it's bitter. And then we did have some warm days, so you know that could uh, cause it to get bitter. So I am going to get it and let it go ahead and try to start regrowing itself. Okay, my hands are so cold. Okay, so I got a nice bunch of lettuce. Now, I'm out of there. Okay, those are my carrots for my salad. I'm going to chop them up in there. So this is my harvest for today. I got bok choy. I have some salad mix, and I have some carrots. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video, and that you will give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. And go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.